What is up guys? Welcome back to Intuitive Engineering. Guys, welcome back to Intuitive Engineering. We are here for episode seven and a half. This one's a little build update for you. I got an awesome new compact design that I just couldn't wait to share with you. Even though I haven't gotten on the water, I think you're gonna love it. So let's check it out. So over here, this is the new model. We upgraded the main upgraded. We got carbon tubes. It's beautiful carbon tubes. We got some plates. It's a little Lego action. One of my other goals was to make the entire boat in the rear pod. And in this case, we have moved the steering from the front to the back. You can see the steering arm, and this guy turns. And you can see the motor now moves here. So looking at a cut section, you can see that the board now has this architecture of two stringers, clamp plates, and then uh, carrier trays in the middle. And in this case, I've designed this board where the mask and these two carrier plates all bolt together in a three-part configuration. These bolt across, and then they all bolt through underneath. And then um, looking at the bottom here, one of the important things about hydrofoils is that they need to plane. And I designed this fairing to for the back sled is what I'm calling it. I think I'll need to add an additional one under behind the front going backwards so I don't get a big low pressure pocket here. One area of improvement I'm gonna need to make is on this rudder. Right now I thought I could use like a flimsy bendable one, but the way it moves isn't, it's not a very good solution. So if we look at a section of the rear mass, I am going to integrate the rudder onto this red steering shaft here and that's what turns the motor. So I'm going to fully integrate the rudder and make it a part of the steering shaft and make this whole area much bigger and make an additional clamping point for the motor rotation since right now it's slipping. Another area improvement I did was leakage adjusters here and you can see we have a little block and then I put set screws that thread in and adjust the distance between all the mechanisms. So overall, our next thing we're gonna do is finish the rudder, get the rear part tested, and then we're gonna move on to the front mast and update the flaps here. The first test I'm gonna make is to make sort of gull wing um, height finders. And as they rise out of the water, they get a smaller and smaller profile touching. And I think that's gonna help with them to stay on plane and react appropriately. Those changes are all gonna add up, I think, to some great upgrades. I'll give you guys an awesome video when I finally get it back in the water. But thanks for watching. I hope you liked the update. And um, don't forget, you can look at the CAD model from the link in the description and check it out yourself. It's much easier to 3D print now. And uh, I hope you take a look. So cheers, guys. Have a good one.